Michael Jordan, then and now. The best basketball player to ever walk the face of the earth. Michael Jordan is a legend when it comes to basketball. He's the most decorated player in the NBA with six NBA championship titles and a tall list of awards. He is a global cultural icon as he played an integral role in the popularization of the NBA around the world in the 1980s and 90s. He was also named the greatest North American athlete of the 20th century and is considered one of the most effectively marketed athletes of his generation crazy what a rep this guy has built for himself. In our video today, we will be looking at the upbringing of the legend himself and how he got to where he is today. If you want to learn the secrets of Michael Jordan's success, make sure you watch this video to the end. Did you know that Michael Jordan didn't make his sophomore team in high school because he wasn't good enough? Grab a drink and let's get right into the video. I have some more shocking revelations for you. Early Life Born on February 17, 1963, Michael Jeffrey Jordan was born in Fort Greene, New York, to James R. Jordan Sr., a plant supervisor at General Electric, and Dolores Jordan, a bank teller who is an author these days and has since written several books. At the age of five, he moved to Wilmington, North Carolina with his parents and four siblings. At Wilmington, Jordan attended Emsley A. Laney High School, where he showed great interest in sports, especially basketball, baseball, and football. He was introduced to basketball by his father, who taught him everything he knew about basketball as a child, and even built a basketball court in their backyard so they could all practice together. He desperately wanted to keep Michael off the streets, teaching him to work hard and not be tempted by the life of the street. Unfortunately, Jordan Sr. was the victim of the same thing he was trying to protect his son from. A few years later, after he was shot and killed by two teenagers on a robbery operation while he was driving home from work. He went missing for nearly two weeks until his body was found in a nearby swamp. The teenagers were convicted for first degree murder and are currently serving life sentences. Did you know Michael Jordan used to sew as a child? His mother taught him how to sew, clean, and do the laundry. While in high school, Jordan tried out for the school's basketball team and was deemed too short for basketball. He was 5 feet 11 inches tall. However, this didn't phase him, as he joined the junior varsity team and gave it his all. He soon became the star of the team, with an average of nearly 40 points per game, and trained so vigorously, he was 6 feet 3 inches by the next year. He soon earned his spot on the school team, where he averaged 27 points per game. He was recruited by several colleges including North Carolina, Duke, South Carolina, Virginia, and Syracuse, but accepted a sports scholarship at North Carolina. He played under coach Dean Smith, whose team-oriented system suited Jordan's style of play so much that Jordan was named ACC Freshman of the Year, after he averaged 13 points per game and a field goal percentage. According to Jordan, the turning point in his life was when he made the game-winning jump shot in the NCAA championship game against Georgetown in 1982. The Georgetown team was led by who would soon become one of his greatest rivals in the NBA, Patrick Ewing. During his three seasons at North Carolina, Jordan posted an average of 17.7 points per game and 54% on shooting. He earned a spot in the NCAA All-American First Team in his sophomore year and his junior year. In 1984, he declared for the NBA drafts, with one year left to graduate. He returned in 1986 to complete his degree and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Cultural Geography. During the 1984 draft, Jordan was the third overall pick after Hakeem Olajuwon by the Houston Rockets and Sam Bowie by the Portland Trailblazers. The Trailblazers general manager Stu Inman stated that he preferred Bowie over Jordan because they already had Clyde Dexler whose playing style was similar to Jordan's. However, ESPN named the Blazers' choice of Bowie as the worst draft pick in North American professional sports history, and Jordan didn't take so long to prove them right. He ended his rookie season as the Rookie of the Year, with an average of 28.2 points per game in 51.5% shooting. How incredible! In his second season, he scored an all-time high 63 points in a playoff game, and the record still remains unbroken till now. 
He joined Wilt Chamberlain as the only player to score 3,000 points in a single season and became the first NBA player to record 200 steals and 100 blocks in a single season. He ended the season with 37.1 points per game on 48.2% shooting. At the end of his 14 season career, Jordan finished with a long list of accolades and awards, including gold medals in the Tournament of the Americas in 1992 and the Pan American Games in 1983. Since his retirement, Jordan has been involved in a number of business ventures which give him a net worth of $2.1 billion, making him the world's richest athlete and the fourth richest African-American in the world. He is the owner of the Charlotte Hornets in the NBA and is one of the most marketed sports figures in the world with endorsement deals with several companies with huge payouts that would last him the rest of his life, even without any other source of income. He owns a private golf course in Florida, a car dealership in North Carolina, and a chain of Jordan-branded restaurants. Now 57, Jordan is married to a Cuban-American model named Yvette Prieto, and together they have two children, a pair of identical twin girls named Victoria and Isabe. He has three children from his first marriage to Juanita Vanoy, two boys named Jeffrey and Marcus, and a daughter, Jasmine. Jordan became a grandfather in 2019, when his daughter, who was in a relationship with the basketball player Rakim Christmas, gave birth to her first son. And with that, we come to the end of today's video. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you have enjoyed our video. Also, hit the notification bell on your screen so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. See you next time.